And here is what am I here with? My life and books tag. See, you, you can't start filming until you know what you're gonna talk about. Cause I never know. And I always start filming like an idiot. Whatever age. I wait, what? <laughs> Hey guys, it's Jay, and I'm here with the Your Life in Books tag. I wasn't actually tagged by anybody, which is the case for, you know, all the tag videos that I do. I never do the ones that I'm actually tagged in because the logic of Jan doesn't make sense. We should all know this by now. I don't actually know who the original creator of the tag is because the original video was taken down, so I can't leave the link down below. But shout out to the original creator for an awesome tag, even though I can't give you real credit because I don't know who you are. There's a total of eight questions that I'm supposed to be answering today, so without further ado, let us get started. <sighs> the first thing I need to do is find a book with the initials of your name. I have four initials, and two of them are J, and you know, J is really hard to find. You wouldn't think that J is hard to find, but J is hard to find. And therefore, I'm kind of cheating, but just go along with it, and I'm only doing two of my initials because I can't find two J's. For my J, I'm picking one for the money by Janet, that's a J, up here, Janet Ivanovich. I haven't actually read this book, but my mom's read the entire series, and she absolutely loves it. But I saw the movie, and it was a good movie for what it was, but it was like, it wasn't a good movie. Do you know what I mean? Catherine Heigl's pretty cool, so... That's my J. For my G, I'm going with Gone Girl by Gillian Flynn. Personally, I think I should get bonus points because there's three G's, and therefore, I should get two extra bonus points, which makes up for the J and M of my middle name. See? I technically answered the question correctly. I received this from my brother for Christmas a year ago, I think, and I still haven't read it. <laughs> I'm on page 89, but I picked it up and then put it down because I think I saw the movie and then I was like, I don't want to read this because I know what's going to happen. I have to read the book first, and then watch the movie, to get the full enjoyment of life, of the book. The second thing I'm supposed to do is count my age across my bookshelf, and whatever book that is, I'm supposed to pull it out. And I got Killing Britney by Sean Olin for my 20th book, because I am 20 years old. I know I'm getting old. Barf. And 20 isn't that old, but I feel old. Give this book a 3 out of 5 stars on Goodreads. I will leave my May wrap-up up, up there, card, whatever. Shameless promotion yet again if you want to hear my thoughts on the book. It was enjoyable. It wasn't, like, incredible, and it's not really that memorable. But I really like the cover. The cover's... the cover's cool. Three is that I'm supposed to pick a book that takes place in my country, city, or state. And I'm also kind of cheating for this because I've never actually read a book set in Canada. I have, but I can't think of one, and therefore, I'm gonna cheat. And therefore, I am picking The Duff by Cody Keplinger. You're all thinking it's because it's my favorite book. No, 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 no. It's because Hamilton High. And I live in Hamilton, and therefore, Hamilton is Hamilton in a way. And therefore, I'm allowed to pick this book because Hamilton and Hamilton. Four is to pick a book that represents a destination you want to travel to, and I am going with Anna the French Kiss by Stephanie Perkins because I want to go to Paris so badly. If you've been on my channel for a while, you know I love Paris, and nobody will take me. So John, if you're watching this, please take me to Paris. Mom, if you're watching this, please take me to Paris. Anybody else who's willing to take me to Paris, please take me to Paris. I want to go. Five is to pick a book that is your favorite color, and I'm going with Unearthly by Cynthia Hand. My favorite color is purple, and I also really like shiny things, so this book is literally perfection. Do you see the shininess? Do you see the purpleness? And it's like a really nice shade of purple, too. I haven't actually read this book, but I really like the cover, and I really like the color, and therefore, it's a good book. It might be a really bad book, but I'm gonna say it's a good book because the color is pretty. Six is which book do you have the fondest memories of, and I'm going with Naughty Goes to Toyland. I'm not even going to try and say this author's name. Because every time I do, my parents watch my videos and they die laughing because it's some English name and I cannot do it. My mom used to read these to me when I was little and then I started reading them myself and I loved them. I have a Naughty Doll up there. I'm not going to go get it because effort and we all know I'm a very lazy individual. But I absolutely love these books. They're so cute and if you have a small child, I don't know if they still make these, but seriously, go get them if they do. They're so cute. They're good, like, first chapter books because the font's so big and there's pictures everywhere and there's so much fun to read and there's, like, 80 of them. There's probably, like, 25, but it feels like there's 80 of them when you're little. Seven is which book did you have the most difficulty reading and I am going with Billy by Anna Gavalda. I still love saying Gavalda, which is why this book is so upsetting that it was so bad. It's not that it was bad, I just found it extremely boring. 
I give it a one star on Goodreads. It's, it's also in my ready wrap up, so you can have another card right here. Wow, look at that, more shameless promotion. It was in my cup of tea. I found it really slow, but maybe you'll like it. I don't know. And finally, eight is what book on your bookshelf will give you the biggest sense of accomplishment once you finish it. And I am going with City of Heavenly Fire by Cassandra Clare because that means if I finish this book, I finish the entire Mortal Instruments series and the entire Infernal Devices series, and therefore I completed something that I said I was going to do in 2016. And therefore, if I've done this book, I succeeded at life. And therefore I need to read this book. But, we all know me, it's probably not going to happen, but... A for effort? Alright guys, so that was my life in books tag. I'll leave who I'm tagging down below. Hint, hint, it's you, so do the tag and leave it down below and I shall watch it. And I'll see you in my next video. Goodbye! Was the... I forget the name of the tag, but that was that. Okay, by Cynthia Hall. Is it Cynthia? Hand, not Hall. I tried. I forgot what I was going to say. My walls are two different colors. I know. I live the wild life.